This is Mark with Not Square Design, and this is the information for my site. I know I do need to do an opening page, but I haven't had time yet. So um, this is just my contact information. Um, we're going to be going through three types of timber frame joints for barn that we've been working on. Um, we are going to be working only in 2D AutoCAD, so it is compatible with AutoCAD Lite. And um, the local building department, once the drawing of the timber frame in January to be stamped by a state registrant of structural engineering. The building is a true timber frame on the interior, which would be very difficult to get to pass seismic constraints if we are deemed to be in zone D. We may be in zone C, however, awaiting a response from the building department as Butte is located on the map shown in the code that is very difficult to read. We're gonna show you that real quick. If they are going to have that much detail, they truly need to scale that drawing up. That is a problem with the code. Is that page, it is just almost impossible to tell what's going on. So, um, actually, let me switch back over to that screen again. If I'm here, what I've got in my um, books is I, I keep, you know, stuff on, on each project. And then um, this is my YouTube stuff up um, in here. Where are you? Now I'm not able to find it. There it is. Okay. So down in under architecture, in my architecture notebook, I've got a design criteria. And in here, I've got a shortcut programmed into OneNote. And so that's going to bring us over to the other screen and open up my Firefox. And all you got to do is clear this. Um, this is just a message. So clear this. And then I'm going to use my address. It's close to this area. And the whole city is within this this uh, this zone, so um, I don't want to give up theirs, and I'm using my own project for more videos where I'm teaching on uh, doing a renovation to my own home. So, uh, and my address and all that is pretty much available through my website, so um, not really giving anything away. You can pick up that you want to look at seismic, you can do your snow load, um, you could do your wind, uh, whatever you'd like. Uh, these are the typical ones for me. Um, today, I'm just interested in this, in the seismic. Let's see if I'm in zone C or D. And I do have an email out to my building department. Now, my risk category is three because I'm in an R3 is the construction type that we are doing. It's a single family residence. So R3. And so our risk category is three. Then I just hit review results. Now you can change your map if you want. So come up to your base map here. Um, I like the imagery hybrid myself. There's topo, there's um, US topo maps, then there's street maps, uh, dark gray canvas. I haven't tried that one. But this, um, it's close. I'm a house off, but um, nonetheless, uh, then you hit this overlay button and it's gonna overlay, oops, I didn't quite do it, there we go, um, and give you this chart. And I'm not exactly sure how these numbers correlate, but what I can tell you is that this is really close in relationship to what you see in that little book, except it's the whole United States shoved into a little tiny page. So it's really hard to tell when one zone is right next to another zone and you're here, are you here, here, or here? I can't tell. It's about, it's less than one hour to drive that distance. So um, it's not very far. So it's hard to tell exactly where you're at. There are no little towns or anything marked on that map. So then they can fix that. But here's the deal. Come to summary. There you are. Category D. So that's the information I was after from this tool. This tool is really great. Um, I haven't found it to be wrong, so I have a feeling that is going to be my answer come tomorrow when hopefully I get an email back from the county for the final decision. So this is the building that we will be working with once again. And we'll be looking at the knee braces, we'll be looking at their girders, and we'll be looking at this ridge joint and modeling all of those out. And um, just in 2D. Just going to detail. I shouldn't them along. We're going to detail those out. So, um, this is what those joints look like. If 
if I go to images, I've got a saved page here. I need to drop my percentage down about 110. And so this is that joint at the peak. And there's our, our, our tenon, there's our mortise, and there's our peg. So we're going to do that, the knee brace. Got the horizontal, vertical, and then the post itself. We're not going to do this because we don't have this scenario in our building. Um, we have these. So we have full height posts where our girders are coming into it. And they're calling it a girt to post. Um, this is a girder beam. So um, shows two slots, but I believe that one slot's coming from the opposite direction. They've got a small shoulder here. And then this will go in. Why they've notched this out, um, I have a question out to my timber framer as to why that occurs. It's occurring here too. So we're not going to show that until we get word back as to why that is done that way. So at any rate, I assume it's for fitting it into the shoulder so it just goes in easy. And then you just keep banging until it's together. But I don't know that for sure. So that's what we're going to be 